Last night, I got home safe and sound. No problems whatsoever. I got in my car outside here at Real Radio, drove down the M8. I'd just like to say well done to everyone concerned in regards to the gritters and the lorries and everyone working hard to keep us moving, doing a grand job on the M8. No problems getting home last night. So no need for Lee McCulloch. I had a rather pleasant journey home last night. You were in Belfast? Yep, I stayed the night in Belfast. Uh, the couple of beers later on after the show. Uh, I looked at the weather forecast and I saw that the snow was coming to Belfast later on that night. So I was a wee bit worried in the morning when I got up and uh, there was a couple of inches of snow. But when I got to the airport, it, was, it wasn't too bad. But uh, the plane was delayed half an hour. Uh, the snow got heavier and heavier and uh, within about an hour I thought we weren't going to get out but all of a sudden they called our flight and I went, there's no way we can leave here and that, you know. It was, was it quite bad the weather? Oh, it was a blizzard day it was coming down and when we got on the plane it was uh, it was one of the wee planes with the propellers. Alright. And <laughs> when we got on it wasn't a full flight so what they said was to balance up the plane 50% of the people had to go to the back and 50% of the people had to go at the front and leave the big gap in the serious? middle. No, it was just a wee plane. It was oh only... God. So that was sort of a, to level it up. But as we sat there and uh, the, the captain came on and he said, look, he said, the snow's getting really bad. What we have to do is we have to wait 15 minutes to defrost the plane. No, they have a defroster uh -huh. that goes round all the engines and all the yeah. the windows to de defrost the ice for them just coming in. So I said, that's what I said. I said, the boy sitting next to me. I said... This is horrendous, man. I'm not really sure we want to take off because, you know, as you looked out the window, it was getting worse and worse. But anyway, we just went along the, the, the runway, skidding all over the place. Really? It, it was it because was we were first, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning, we were the, like the first uh, plane out. And then we took off eventually and we were up there. And obviously, when you're up, you think, oh, that's okay. Then we started getting through pockets of snow like snow bursts and everything and it was absolutely so I said have a gin and tonic please and yeah, I knew it was only 8 o'clock in the morning but <laughs> we were beginning to shake you know so I says, give me a gin and tonic so they gave everybody free drink because they obviously knew a bit nervy a bit nervy and, it, and the higher up we went the more thing we got so after I did the gin and tonic I was just sort of a relaxing and I'm just sitting there and all of a sudden one of the propellers goes right by the window <laughs> <laughs> That's just the stupidest. There's a propeller just by the way. And I went. And it was as if there was no reaction. And then all of a sudden the pilot comes on and goes, I'm sorry to say, but there's a, a propeller just came off. And I went, oh my God, I said, I knew something this was going to happen. And I, and you, you think this is the end? And then all of a sudden. <laughs> I saw this <laughs> red, white, and blue thing coming on the plane. <laughs> and he was right in the windy. No, he's on it. No, when they put their on it. Have no fear. Lee McCullough is here. <laughs> and he had the propeller on his horn. He'd actually caught it. <laughs> And the plane was obviously one, going down on one side, while he's trying to screw it back on, <laughs> while we're <laughs> and he's, he's got, like, spanners and bolts on it. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a time <laughs> where I thought it just wasn't going to work. And all of a sudden, under the plane, just with one horn, he picked us up, <laughs> and he threw us... <laughs> Just to sort of make up time. Do you know how long it took for Belfast to Glasgow? Eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See, saved you. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> I thought he was at the wind up. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Lee McCulloch, what a man. Right back to your calls. Uh, Jimmy! Oh, Ruffy, you've got a bigger... 
Oh, I, I don't know what to say about you, man, after that. I've <laughs> <laughs> bigger imagination than you, and I'll tell you. Just <laughs> me. I was sitting there, and I thought, oh, my God, what happened? <laughs> No, I guess. I've not heard anything like that in the news. <laughs> Half a plane. Alan Ruff wanted to drink my gin and tonic. Oh, God. 